Drug Side Effects Increase Rate of Death To study drug side effects early scientists benefit from systems analysis that are broadly predictive from cell type and tissue. They depend on cellular metabolism that acts in many human disease and phenotype. The metabolism provide a great model to study drug side effects. Scientists use Genome Scale Metabolic Models GSMMS that provide a great analysis for many disease, tissue-specific behavior such as liver metabolism. Scientists think that it will give promising method to study gene-to-phenotype linkage and drug side effects association. There is other methods have emerged recently to use machine learning database to know drug side effects. They use machine learning to collect data available for human disease, drugs and their association to phenotype. Here are the methods. The data were collected mainly from two sources, Drug Bank and EMBL. The machine learning algorithm that was used is called Support Vector Machines or SVM. SVM is a supervised classification algorithm. Authors used SVM to classify whether a given drug causes a certain side effect or not. The first step is converting drugs to metabolic states within each MPP. The second step is training an MPP for a given side effect. The third step is design and validation of a MPP. Then, customizing the algorithm, random forest algorithm for feature selection of the most predictive side effects. Lead one out cross validation for of hyperparameters tuning. The results. All metabolic values for each drug is inputted into an AMPP represented as states resulting in 217 predictive MPP with AUC and GT, 0.7. AMPP can also link the drug potential of causing certain side effects to associated phenotype. Try to use AMPP on all drugs including the drugs that does not necessarily inactivate metabolic targets. The results are better on drugs that inactivate metabolic targets with more accuracy, but the other way still predicts side effect with good accuracy in AUC and GT, 0.6. But the other way still predicts side effect with good accuracy in AUC and GT, 0.6. Combined AMPPCCA together. It performs better than any on its own. However cannot be used for biomarker panel or feature selection. Using ML algorithm for most predictive side effects, purine, hyaluronan, salvage pathways are the top predictive reactions. In summary scientists used machine learning to predict the drug side effects. By predicting phenotype-genotype relationships based on steady-state metabolic fluxes, in a genomic model of human cell. Despite all the scales that surrounds the conversion of genotype to phenotype as temporal, spatial, and biological scales. This way successfully, predicts gene perturbation to macro phenotype associations, of side effects studied. Even though the approach deal only with pharmacodynamics and not pharmacokinetics because the pharmacokinetic mechanisms are still not known. We can use organ-specific models and because of their specificity, we might obtain better and more advanced prediction of side effects. Liver could be the best example, since most drugs are processed in it, thus many side effects may be strongly associated with its metabolism. The AMPPS we developed can be used to predict side effects of other drugs even those that are not yet included in this dataset. In this way, a list of AUCs provide important benchmarks for how well we can predict the phenotype side effects caused by any new drug. The paper's contribution to society. AI is moving into the clinic helping healthcare professionals in diagnosis, decision making and prediction of treatment outcomes. According to the FDA, they received more than 5.4 million reports of prescription drug adverse events, including more than 1 million deaths from 2011 to 2017. Provide information about when to use the drug, and when to discontinue. Provide insights about how to use the drug with different patients with various conditions. Prevent otherwise unpredictable complications decreasing morbidity and mortality rate. According to Rodriguez et al., the cost of problems linked to drug use in the U.S. was about $177 billion in 2000. As a result, Predicting side effects by AMPP may contribute to decreasing the costs. All of this is achieved thanks to systems biology.